Brooks Lee was the starting shortstop and leadoff hitter for the Twins at Toronto's place in Dunedin and showed a little bit of everything, a little bit of everything. Here he makes a beautiful play in the field, a barehanded grab. This guy's just such a playmaker. That one's definitely worth another look. Maybe he doesn't have the sheer athleticism of most major league shortstops, but again, dude just makes all the plays. Here's another one, kind of ranging to his left, makes a nice off-balance and on-target and strong throw. Here he gets a single off of Jordan Romano, a really good reliever for Toronto on their major league club. And then he steals second base with a kind of a beautiful slide is what made the difference here. The throw beat him by quite a bit, but it was on the wrong side of the bag. And then Lee pulls up that left arm a bit to sneak that right one in there, taking advantage of those bigger bases. And then I believe this was the longest hit ball of this game. This is a Brooks Lee double to dead center field. This guy's going to hit for a great average. It's kind of his biggest tool is his ability to hit for contact. On the mound starting was Bailey Ober, and he looked good once again. The velo's ticking up about a mile and a half, two miles up above average once again with his fastball. He looks ready if they need him, obviously kind of on the outside looking into that rotation. Matt Walner going to show you an opposite field double that he hits, and then also he makes a great play out in right field. What a catch that is. What an effort for spring training. Uh, from Matt Walner. Let's take another look there. It kind of crashes in. He stayed out there, so uh, maybe just kind of tweaked his shoulder a bit, but he stayed in again. Randy Dobnak pitched a couple innings, I think two and a, two-thirds, and you know he's showing good movement. It's just good to see him back out there and healthy. Um, here, Willie Castro had a three-hit game, a pair of doubles. Here's one of those doubles. It's a guy who was with Detroit. Still real young. You know, not on the 40-man roster or anything, but trying to play his way onto the team. Yohan Duran, man, it's it's almost like we're desensitized to how disgusting this guy is, but he made George Springer seriously consider a new career path, I think, on this pitch. What are you supposed to do with that? Oh, my goodness. And then uh, <laughs> he just completely uh, fools Bichette here, Bo Bichette, on this one. That I think, I think it bounced before it got to the plate. We'll take a look at a side view but that slider just completely abusing some of these Toronto hitters. Like, yeah, man, we're trying to get ready for the spring training. You can't put Duran out there in spring training. And with the Twins up 4 to nothing in the ninth, Kalai Rosario delivers the knockout punch, a three-run opposite field home run. A powerful, powerful young man in Kalai Rosario. He also struck out a couple times. That's a big part of his game, but you know we got to find a good balance there because if he can keep hitting for power, they'll find... Uh, he'll find a way up the ladder. Here's a look at the pitching. Didn't it didn't have everybody here. Dennis Santana and Jorge Alcala are kind of the big ones to take away that I didn't highlight that through shutout innings. Jorge Alcala striking out the side as well. Dennis Santana, a guy they claimed uh, was out of options, so fighting for a spot. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you to all the channel members. Here are the premium members. Check out that Member Monday video that we put out. It had a lot of the topics of discussion on that one. Well, I'll talk again soon. Thank you.